Alright YouTube, I have recently discovered some chewing in uh, my pantry in my kitchen. And I looked online about mouse traps because, you know, I like to build stuff on my own and everything. So I looked online for some basic designs and I found one that was kind of okay, but I didn't really like the concept of it. It's the one with the five gallon bucket and the bottle where the mouse runs up, the bucket gets onto the bottle and then the bottle spins and drops it in the bucket. Um, I don't really see how, because then, you, then you're thinking like every mouse is a tightrope walker, walker and shit like that, so I made up my own design of that. I basically took the same concept, only I have changed how you catch the mouse. Now what I have here is I have a bucket, it's a, um, a old dishwashing detergent bucket, and this is what I used, I used a really type of stretchy rope. Uh, this rope is from a Halloween decoration thing. It's what they use to hold it down. Um, didn't have to drill holes in the side of the bucket because there was already two holes for each handle. So, you got the hole here. You attach a rope. You go all the way over the bucket to the other side. Another hole. Tie it down. Then you want to go in the middle of the bucket. Tie another hole here. Or drill another hole here. Now how you set it up is you take a piece of wood like so okay you attach or you drill a hole two holes into this piece of wood one of them in the middle one of them at the end the end where you drill the hole into the bucket is where the end of the the one in the wood needs to be now <clears throat> you run a string through the hole in the wood around the rope and under to the hole I don't know if you can see that on the camera like that so you run it through the wood, into the wood, into this hole. You tie a knot here. You need a knot on the outside of the bucket to stop the rope. Then you run it through the other hole on the end of the wood, and then you tie another knot so it catches when the mouse falls in. So basically, how you set it is, you put your food or whatever. I like to use Laffy Taffy. It works really good for catching mice. So you put whatever you want on the end of it to catch the mouse, and then you pull this rope up the rest of the way and drop it down and that holds the piece of wood from being top heavy once the mouse goes across it and hits to this side of the rope to get it it falls and goes into the bucket this rope allows the wood not to fall completely into the bucket so the mouse can get out all you have to do to reset it is pull this string back and then it's flat again um, the only thing that you have to come up with is the way to get the mouse to the bucket I've seen a lot of people use a piece of 2x4 I found this old light thing. It's a, a light cover for a, an old aquarium, and I just set it by the bucket, kind of close to the wood, but not on it, and then set it against something. So when the mouse goes all the way up this, and then this just drops, and the mouse dies. Um, no having to clean a water bottle or anything like that, or cutting a hole. And this is, this is. Um, this is more of a better concept than the water bottle because, like I said, no mouse is a freaking tightrope walker. That's just trying to get lucky right there. But uh, this is my design of it. It's just a basic wood plank. I like to call this the walk the plank. <laughs> um, so there you go. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. And don't forget to subscribe.